You have to create a demand for what you do, your ability to do what you do, and then the difficulty that it will be in replacing you. How easy is it for your stylist, for your client, to get upset with you? What's your name? Dondra. Dondra. How easy is it for your client to get upset with you and say, hmm, I'm not going to go back. I'm going to... I can go down the street and get what she gets. She wearing lace fronts or she's wearing extensions. I can go. It's an extension shop on every corner. My baby could do a quick weave before she was ever before she was twelve years old, right? So you have to create a demand for what it is you do. What's the demand? Most African American stylists do not understand cutting, coloring relaxing and protecting the integrity of the hair all at the same time. That's a demand. When everybody stopped wearing, when weaves and lace fronts is gone out of business and they ain't got no more edges, <laughs> listen, they gonna come looking for me because they know that Kendall, the master stylist, she talks about the integrity of the hair. All her clients have edges. Most of my clients have edges. If you go to my Instagram, who's not following me on Instagram? Mm -hmm. 